Good afternoon, Facebook. How's everybody doing? This is JL, your anti-guru, aka Papa Buff. But today we're doing anti-guru stuff. We're doing marketing. Uh, I'm continuing my series on traffic, and uh, I'm going to go over quite a few things today. So uh, I hope that you're going to take some notes. If you're uh, catching this on the replay, you know, please leave me a comment. Let me know where you're coming in from. Always interested in hearing from everybody. But uh, I want to get right into it. I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, what's going on, Kemp? What's, what it is? Coming in on Mo Money Monday. We're going to be talking about traffic today. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is, uh, let me get my notes right here because I have some things. Where are they? It's bad when you don't, when you try to work from a script. There we go. There we go. <laughs> what's going on, brother? Listen, there are seven psychological and emotional triggers that get pe people to take action. So we're going to be talking about traffic, but we're also going to be talking about what you need to do in order to inspire and motivate and get people to take action. Now, these seven triggers are fear, scarcity. You can be funny. You can create curiosity. You can tell a story. You can give them some kind of incentive. Or if you know if you want them to join a cause, you know, like uh, we have everybody's got some kind of cause, whether it's clean up the save the whales or save the planet or whatever. You know, people want to re they resonate with some of those things. So I'm gonna say those things again. The first thing is fear, uh, scarcity. Uh, you can be funny. You can create curiosity. You can tell a story. Storytelling is one of the best ones. I, I like to tell stories uh, and use it some type of incentive or get people to join a cause. So that's the first thing that uh, you want to be able to do because you want to be the thing with marketing and the thing with business is you want to be able to solve a problem. You know, that's the main thing. But let's go into this traffic thing because I want to explain to you what what traffic is because there's three types of traffic. Uh, the first thing is traffic that you control. The second thing is traffic that you don't control. And the last thing is the traffic that you own. So I'm going to go through each of these things. The traffic that you control is uh, traffic like uh, when you run email ads, which is like a solo ads or banners or links or things like that. The second thing is PPC. If you don't know what PPC is, that's pay-per-click, where you're doing stuff on Facebook or Google or Bing on the search engines. Uh, banner ads is where you would go to an advertising network and you post your banner on the network or if you've got a blog and you put banners on your blog. Uh, the second thing is when you if you're ha if you own a product and you have people who are selling your product for you which are affiliates. Now you can control that traffic to a certain extent. And and meaning when you can control it you have the ability to te tell it where to go. And I like this kind of traffic. I actually love it because if you want more all you got to do is spend more money to get it, you know, and always remember, always send all of your traffic to a landing page. Never send traffic directly to your offer or to your website where you want them to buy, because if you don't capture that information again, I say this a lot. If you don't capture that information with a landing page or some people call it capture page or squeeze page, then you lose the ability to market to them. You know, all you're doing is simply advertising because there's a difference between advertising and marketing. You know, advertising when you grab people's attention. Marketing is where you start building a relationship and building a, building some type of rapport with people to where something that they can resonate with that makes them want to know, like, and trust you. Because here's the thing, guys. People only spend their money when they know, like, and trust you. What's going on, Karen? Appreciate you coming on. Uh, the second type of traffic is traffic that you don't control. And that's traffic like uh, when you're posting things on social media, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or anything like that. Uh, the search engines, if you're a blogger and you're using uh, uh, SEO, which is uh, search engine optimization to get your uh, blog or your website at the top of the searches, um, you can also use the guest blog traffic. You know, you can end up going to another blogger and, you know, be, maybe he will allow you to, uh, to put an article on his blog. And you always want to have some kind of way for people to contact you, you know, especially with that landing page. Always comes back to that landing page. Now, the only goal here is to turn on the traffic. 
and, and push all of the traffic to your central hub. And most of the time, that's some type of blog or some type of website. You know, like you say, a, a landing page is, is a mini website. A lot of people don't realize that. So you want to drive that traffic to that site, you know, and if you're a blogger, you know, definitely you want to drive people straight back to your blog where you've got your articles, you've got your offers or anything that you're promoting. Now, the best kind of traffic is the traffic that you own. Now, that's the traffic that you've got once you have somebody opt into your landing page and they end up on your autos and your email list, you know, and that's that's people that are prospects. That's customers, that's clients. And the best part about that, that's like traffic on demand, you know, because you can send out an email or you can post something on your blog and the people are subscribers, they're going to get a notification and, and hopefully they're going to go check that out. You know, so those are the three kinds of traffic guys. And as an entrepreneur, your job is to find where the goal is located. Now, I'm going to help you understand this strategy behind this. You know, because the, 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 the hardest thing for most people is to find out where their dream customers are. First, the, the most important thing is, is you need to first figure out who your dream customers and clients are. So the coolest thing about the Internet is the power of congregation. You know, people congregate like Facebook is a perfect place. People are on Facebook and they have Facebook groups and forums and you know let's just say that you're in into health and fitness well there's plenty of there's how you doing karen good day to you too there's plenty of folks out there who have health and fitness facebook groups so if you're in if you're promoting some type of health and fitness product or health and fitness service that's a that's an easy way to find out where these people are congregating but then that's three questions that you have to ask to find out and really tap into these congregations. Now, the first one is, is who is your target market? You know, what are their pains? What are their passions? You know, what do they desire? You know, what do they care about? You know, those are the type of questions. And you got to go beyond the typical demographics. You can't go with just age, sex, gender, income, location. You got to dig deeper into that. You know, the second thing is where are they congregating? Where are they hanging out online? Are they on Facebook groups? What books do they read? Uh, what keywords are they searching on Google? So that makes finding the traffic is easy when you start answering these questions. And then the last question that you wanna ask is how can I get a customer to leave that congregation and check out my page? So what you have to do, keep getting something in my eye, what you have to do is you want to be able to divert their attention you know long enough from what they're doing now the best process that i have learned and you all have know about it because uh whether you realize it or not you know everybody knows about the the, the little magazine the national Enquirer, and what the national Enquirer does they put these crazy headlines out like you know uh, uh Hillary Clinton had a 300 pound baby or Hillary Clinton was was caught having sex with Bigfoot or something like that just something outrageous and it'll cause you to pick that magazine up and take a look at it and like what the heck and then you'll go through it so you're standing in line you're actually in line in the grocery store you're ready to pay for your groceries and go on out the door and they put those magazines right there where you're standing so you're in line and you inadvertently you're going to go look at that you know whether you just glance at it or whatever and some people will actually buy the magazine because it's got some crazy headline on there and they just got to read about it, you know? So what they, what's that's called? It's called an inquirer interrupt. And I'm, I'm going to read you what it says. It says you place, uh, you know, they place that, pa that paper in the busiest place on earth, which is right there at the checkout. And you got this two or three headline thing that just stops them in the tracks. So, that's what you're supposed to try to do on online is you're supposed to do the same thing. You're trying to engage someone who's checking their emails, they're looking at Facebook, uh, they're on their cell phones, you know, and, and you want, want to stop them long enough to say, hey, here I am, click on this and check this out. So your ads have to have that. They have to grab somebody's attention so that they can land on your uh, landing page. 
Now, the other thing is, you don't, once you get them on that landing page, you want to have what we call a front end offer. Because your front end offer usually is not the same thing as your main offer. You know, because in order to entice people to give up their information, you got to give them something free, whether it's a report or some type of PDF file or a free video, uh, something along those lines that complements what you're really trying to, to, to get them to take a look at. Because once you ca capture that information, then you can send them the next thing that you want them to see. Because they've already requested this free thing. So you give them the free thing, and now you can start marketing to them. Because that's marketing, guys. You know, creating an ad is not marketing. So when you find out where your dream uh, customers congregate, you find out what their pains and their passions are, you know, then you can start marketing to those pains and those passions. Because remember, the triggers that get people to uh, to move and do things is fear, scarcity, like they're missing out on something uh, or something funny, or you're causing some type of curiosity, or you're telling them a story. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Jack. I, hey, appreciate you guys coming on. Uh, then the incentive thing, like we talked about, a free report, or you're, you're presenting them some type of cause that they can resonate with. So let's keep moving. Remember, guys, I got to have a script. You know? <laughs> yeah. So let's go on to the next thing because there are six human needs. Everybody has them. And uh, they need certainty, variety, significance, love, and connections. And that's just the body part. The spiritual part is growth and contribution. So these are needs that you can tap into, you know. People like certainty. They like things to stay the same. A lot of people don't like change. And then they got some people who love the variety of life. They like the you know, variety and spice of life. You know, the other thing is people want to feel significant. So if you can create a way to make them feel significant, and then if you can create love and connection with people, not necessarily love like husband and wives, but, you know, they love what you do or they love what you're offering, you know. And then on the spiritual side is always growth and contribution. So those are six of the basic human needs. And people will give up anything to satisfy these needs, you know. So when you get when you're when you're getting people's attention, you've got them on your capture page, you gotta tell them what you want them to remember. So a way to do that is use this term, imagine something like this, or imagine if this were happening, or imagine that because it causes subconsciously in their mind to start creating images, you know? So, uh, yeah, that's, so that's, let's keep moving. And I wanna tap into some of the traffic training that I have been going over, because we talked about influencer traffic a while back. I always wanna give you uh, some type of traffic source. We talked about YouTube, we talked about Facebook and Twitter. Now, another untapped traffic source is podcasts. And the type of podcast, depending on what your niche is, what your business or what your product is, you know, like I say, I'm gonna go with health and fitness is something I'm familiar with. There's plenty of podcasts out there with people, uh, fitness coaches and, and personal trainers who are doing podcasts on a regular basis. So you can contact that, that person. And again, you make them an offer to, uh, to mention your site or to mention your service or, or they mention, mention your, your, your uh, capture page, you know, give out that, that, that web address. And in the process of them talking about whatever it is that, that, you're, that they're promoting or they're talking about, like we're saying, health and fitness, let's say you got a product that's gonna help people uh, increase their jump uh, for basketball, you know? So you wanna contact somebody who's talking about basketball skills. Well, like I say, we go with health and fitness. And of course, the common thing, weight loss. You got a weight loss product or you got a, 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 an exercise program that you're trying to promote. You know, So this, you got this person who is a quote unquote influential person and they've got a huge audience or if they don't have a huge audience, let's say they got an audience of 500 people. Well, you can tap into that traffic and drive some of that traffic to your landing page, to your website, whatever it is that you're trying to promote. You know? So that's pretty much all that I've got for you today. Um, you know, I try to keep these things short. Now, um, 
the traffic, the training that I'm giving away and the training that I'm, I'm, I'm sharing with you, if you want to get it firsthand, uh, you, you'll have an opportunity to do that. If you're interested in getting, uh, because what it is, is called Internet Traffic Mastery. And uh, it is by far one of the best traffic courses that I've ever had a chance, uh, had an opportunity to take a look at. Roy, what's going on, brother? Great to have you on. You kind of missed it. You might have to catch the replay. But like I said, Internet Traffic Mastery is available right now. If you are a serious entrepreneur, if you're a small business owner, if you're into insurance, if you're a real estate broker, uh, if you're an internet marketer, affiliate marketer, network marketer, this course is going to help you take your business to the next level. And I guarantee within 30 to 40 days of you looking at some of this stuff, because some of the stuff that I've been sharing with you, uh, I had, I've been in the business for five years and I didn't even know that this type of traffic was available. I was going all the traditional ways, you know, uh, posting in the groups and doing paid advertisements and Facebook and Twitter and Google plus and, and uh, even tried, you know, uh, YouTube, you, because remember this, YouTube is the number two search engine. You know, there used to be the term, you know, people used to say, if you want to find something out, Google it. Now, I tell people YouTube it, because I guarantee no matter what you're trying to learn how to do, you can YouTube it and somebody's made a video. I'll give you an example. Uh, a couple of months ago, I dropped this laptop that I'm using right now on the ground and cracked my screen. So I go looking to find out what it's going to cost. What's going on, Crystal? So I'm looking to find out what it costs to get my screen fixed. And it was like a hundred bucks. And I'm like, man, I'm not paying a hundred dollars. I don't have that. So some, one of my friends said, look on YouTube. I went on YouTube and it was a guy on there showed you how to, how to do this thing in 10 minutes. So I went on, went on Amazon, bought me a replacement screen for 30 bucks. It was four screws. You pop the cover off four screws, top and bottom, pull that out, pull the screen out, pop the new screen in, screw it back in, click, 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 boom, back in action. So it only cost me 30, 30 something dollars and 10 minutes of my time. So remember that, you know, YouTube is an untapped market. There are people on YouTube uh, uh, every single day, just like there are people on Facebook. And if you learn how to get involved with some of these YouTube channel owners and tap into that, that uh, traffic, it can, you can get that stuff sometimes pennies for pennies a click, you know. So again, the 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 new uh, the new technique or the new tip is go to some of these podcast owners, you know, depending upon your niche. And again, if you want to get some of this information firsthand and dig into it, because I'm just scratching the surface. There is no way that I can share everything that I'm learning because there are, are actually 12 different modules and there are there are six or seven training videos and sessions in each of those modules that go into in-depth about this stuff and if you truly want to be a success if you truly want your business to go to the next level then you need to start investing in the tools and the training to get where you want to go you know the other thing is you have to have a mentor what's going on mike how you doing today great to have you on so if, if you're out here trying and struggling, like a lot of us are, because the statistics show that 96% of people who are working online are struggling, 96% of them are making less than $1,000 a month. So there's only 4% that's actually doing it. But those people are the ones who have gotten the tools, invested in them, invested in the training, and they found some mentors, or a, and they're doing exactly what that mentor says. I know a lot of times we, we think we know everything or we get involved with something and we think it's the best thing since sliced cheese. And then you've got some training inside of whatever you're promoting. But I guarantee that some of the things that I've shared with you and I'm going to continue to share with you, you're not going to find inside of some of the things that you're promoting. So again, uh, if you want to get a hold of this traffic course, it's called Internet Traffic Mastery. So uh, leave me a comment. In the uh, comment section, just type in ITM and I will get back with you and send you a link where you can get a first look at it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you to, uh, I'm going to send you to a site where you can actually get some free training. I think the video is probably about uh, 20 minutes long. And if you watch that video to the end, you're going to get for free uh, the mass traffic blueprint that my mentor has used for the last 14 years to orchestrate his success. And he also shares with you a million dollar 
strategy that he uses in every single campaign that he that he's done and he's been a leader in every opportunity everything that he's ever done once he able, was able to crack this code and create this blueprint so if you want to get that blueprint even if you don't want to uh, invest in internet traffic mastery I encourage you to just get the free training that's going to be available because it's going to open your eyes to a lot of things now some of you out there who are experienced you may already know some of these things but at the end of the video you're going to get mass traffic blueprint and a million dollar strategy and that's worth hundreds of dollars right there that 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 blueprint I've started using it and already I'm starting to see results I've only been using it for two weeks so don't believe me you know get the free thing and try it for yourself and remember my motto the shortest distance between your dreams and reality is called action so take some action guys if you want this thing just put in ITM love peace and hair grease